Hi everyone, welcome back to my recipe mukbang. Today is um, kind of a review day again. Uh, I've been finding a lot of new and interesting things at H Mart, like the Korean gro groceries. This is a instant black bean black bean sauce. I've tried a different type of black bean sauce that comes in like a powder form, and of course I tried the actual. I used I made a black bean sauce with the actual black bean paste before but this one this brand otuki i never actually tried this this specific one and they come in little cubes like the japanese curry like vermont or go golden curry or something like that um so in the back i mean they covered it with like nutrition facts but you can make they recommend you making like the black bean rice cakes black bean noodles and black bean i think this is a, i don't know what the first one is probably like a fried rice version i don't know but i'm gonna try to look for it on amazon just see just to see that if you guys can find it online so yeah let's turn this on and then I'm going to start with some oil okay let's do a little careful so i have some vegetables on the side i have green onions zucchini and this is cabbage and some onions oops and uh, I already made the fried rice just with some eggs and green onions also. I mean, I'm using brown rice. I still eat white rice here and there, but if I have the time or, um, you know, I just, I try to stick to brown rice cause just because they're healthier. So this is a little dirty because I made fried rice with it, but it's okay. Uh, let's just add all of it. Feel free to add any kind of meat or seafood. Okay. I'm going to just open them and see how they look like. Whoa. Well, the moment I open it, you could smell that black bean. So it looks like that. So I guess I was supposed to crack it before, which I completely forgot, but it's okay. So if I crack it, it becomes like that. And I also brought some, this is tammanel, tam, tam, tammanel. I don't know, what is it, tammanel? What is it? Or myeongginam or kimchi. My mom made it for me the other day. It, I'll show you guys later. But it's like a different type of kimchi. Okay. Now I'm going to add some water. We are going to start off with two, uh, three. Okay, let's do three. Three blocks of black bean. Well, I'm so excited to see how you know the so taste or how like you know it'll turn out. Like the thing about the powder one that I used before, it tastes good, but I honestly I think it tastes closer to the instant black bean noodles. And it's not as thick, so. To try this, I got this at Target for a dollar, and it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, my hair looks worse than I thought. Um, I've been meaning to bleach my roots, but I don't know if I want to keep bleaching my hair. I mean, I do, I want my hair to be light because it's summer. Ooh, look at that. But yeah, I'm just still contemplating if I should uh, kind of dye it back to lighter brown. Then I could keep bleaching it, I guess, so I could have the lightest brown. Um, at the same time, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I've been doing my... Okay, so I don't, don't want to keep talking about like my beauty stuff, but I've been redoing my... Well, not re, but 
kind of doing my eyebrows differently and I actually really look like I think this is my favorite eyebrow style so far I mean it doesn't look that different but the way I color it or draw it color same thing right but anyways this looks so good <gasps> wow this is actually pretty good you know what? I'm going to add more one more okay I think that's it mm. it's definitely more flavorful and thicker than the powder one I think but I mean like it's not like I'm eating it side to side so I can't really be sure but from my memories or what I want to think this is a little bit more flavorful and it's more concentrated Mm. I want to put the verse on the side like this. Yes. Mm. I'm like salivating right now. This looks so good. I like that. Let's add the eggs. I have I made some fried eggs beforehand. Ta-da! Oh, this looks so appetizing. Mm. Zucchini, oh my god, this is so fresh. Break the egg. Maybe I need to get a different spoon. So hungry right now. I just worked out and I was at the pool a little bit, which I think I got a little tan. Can you see? No. But yeah, I, just, I you know, like you know, I mentioned, I don't really want to tan because I don't want to get darker, but I love being under the sun and it just feels nice, you know, so cozy. Mmm. Wow, this sauce is really something I would recommend people to use. Oh my God, it's so good. This sauce tastes, this sauce tastes really, really, um, like fresh, I guess, you know, like, like, I mean, I did just mix it, but meaning like, it tastes like it was made from scratch, scratch. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So if you notice, this kimchi looks like that. I think my mom used this thing called Myeonginamur, which has been popular lately.
It's called Myeonginamul because you're supposed to extend your life <laughs> or something like that. You live longer. Can somebody <clears throat> tell me or tell me what they what you guys think your theory on why dogs love baby wipes so much? Ame goes crazy for it. Like if he had a chance to grab this, he would have eaten it right now. You know, like when he was growing up. I had to watch like wires because he when he was teething he would just chew on everything but you know I don't have to worry about that but one thing that um I worry about is him like going through garbage sometimes and getting the tissues out that's like the one thing that he actually eats without hesitating
You guys remember my coffee break videos? <laughs> I might film one next week. Um, I'm I, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it because a couple of days ago I actually well not just me. You know my family lost our um, first family dog. Um, you guys, I know that a lot of you guys saw it on Instagram, probably. We had to let her go because she was very, very sick. And, and I don't want to get into details. If you guys want to know, check out my Instagram. But, um, yeah, she, we had to let her go because she was 11 years old and she was just very sick. And the best choice for us to make for her was to um, let her go and, you know, let her be in peace. She was, you know, so physically suffering. Um, and I, you know, there are a lot of things that I, the past couple of days, I've been thinking a lot about that and just like what happened to my family and like what, how, what she meant to our family, what she meant to me personally. Um, and I wanted to talk about that because, you know, like, I just feel like, oh, it, it wasn't just, we lost a dog. It was a lot, it's a lot more than that. It's more complicated and, you know, you kind of, it opens your art, if it opens your eyes in many ways. Um, so I want, it's a very heavy, serious topic, so I don't want to get into it in this video, but uh, I thought about doing like a coffee break. And I don't think it's, I th honestly, I think it's too heavy for any kind of mukbang, in my, you know, my type of mukbangs, I think. Um, although I cried in a couple of them <laughs> when I talked about my dad. But those kind of stuff, I want to keep it more, you know, like serious videos. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing a coffee break video next week or so. I'm not sure yet, I'm thinking about it. It's just something that when I think about it, it just kind of breaks my heart. But like, you know, it, it just keeps like coming back to me. I'm trying to like keep busy and not think about it. You know, you can't help it. And I think it's appropriate to think about it instead of kind of burying like em burying my emotions and feelings of like my dog. I want to, you know, give that. She deserves us to cry over her. She deserves to for us to think about her and miss her. So I'm not trying to hide it, but, you know, it just... I don't want to be crying all day kind of thing. He's been so cute. He's been like, every time I eat, not just when I'm filming, just when, when I'm just eating alone, he's like right here next to me, keeping me company. Want a bite? I'm done. Oh, my people have a mocha so. Mm, this is really good. Another cubic thing. The cube thing, not cubic. Mm. That's good, right? Mm. Mm. Want to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe mukbang. I will try to find this on Amazon or other links if you know online if I can. But I think I definitely recommend this to everyone. I would. Uh, you could make like chapaget, like not chapaghetti, but you could make black bean noodles. You can make this or you can make the rice cake. So I think this is very, very handy and it doesn't ex oh, it expires in November. But um, I think this is really convenient. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it's almost summer. It's getting very, very hot in Chicago. So hope you guys are staying cool and enjoy your summer break. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.